Welcome to Devices Setup and today we will learn how to log in into your TP-Link Wi-Fi extender. So there are two scenarios. First is to log in before setup and second is to log in after setup. So to start with first plug the extender into a power source and wait for its power LED to turn stable. Now use your phone or computer and go to your Wi-Fi list and connect to the TP-Link extender SSID. Now, if the extender is not set up yet, then the TP-Link extender SSID will come up as TP-Link hyphen extender. And in case you have already set up the extender, then the SSID have ext suffix after your home network name, or maybe some other name if you have customized it during the setup. So connect to that network. And once connected, open a browser and into the URL type tplinkrepeater.net it will take you to the login page of the tplink extender if this url doesn't work then type 192.168.0.254 and hit search or enter this will also take you to the login page of your tplink extender and if it doesn't then we can log in to the tplink extender using its ip address now after tplink extender setup your router will assign a new IP address to it. So you can log in into your router and then go to the DHCP client list or connected devices list and check for TP-Link extender information and its IP address. Then type that IP address into the URL or address bar to access the TP-Link extender login page. Now, if your router doesn't show DHCP list or connected device list, then it could be showing up client list so different routers have different names for your connected devices so you will have to play around a bit to find your tp-link extenders ip address among the list of devices and in case if you don't know how to log in into the router then watch our video in the description moreover if you still can find your tp-link extender ip address then watch our another video in the description on how to find your extender's IP address using official Netgear Genie app. So once you log in into the TP-Link extender page, then use the default password as admin to log in into it or use the password that you set up during the initial setup. Finally, if you found this video useful, then please do like and subscribe to support my channel. Also, you guys can hire me for any technical issues related to routers, extenders, printers, cameras, or any other Wi-Fi devices, you will simply need to email me on fixallissues07 at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to mention your issue and I will fix it for you on nominal charges. So see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.